I'm your dungeon master, I'm your guide, I'm your travel companion on this fun little journey. I mean, I'm not the best at being subtle about it. Trying is all we can do. I do not do stealth. I do not do it. Kind of specialize in not being found. Welcome to Hell Hits Experience, the children's toy with seven missing pieces and batteries not included. Welcome to the show. I'm your dungeon master, Brittany Lee, and we are going to play a fun game. Today, we have a very, very special guest. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm Spencer Cadden. Um, I, I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Where mm -hmm. can we find you? Uh, you can't. Okay. I keep all of my social media private and away from prying eyes. Uh, so instead, you could consider donating to a local charity, the Anna Shelter. Uh, that's where I got my dog and my two cats. And um, they do great work over there. They do great yeah. work. No kill shelter. It's good stuff. Excellent, excellent. Good stuff. Reminder to everybody at home, if you're commenting in the Twitch stream, if you're commenting in the Discord, you can build up audience points and redeem those for fun things. I'm going to put a pause on redeeming those today because we have a special guest, uh, but we can use those later. Uh, so you can rack them up today and we can use them later. Uh, and I think there's one other thing that I wanted to say. Do you believe so? I think there was yeah. one other thing. <laughs> 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 didn't do it very oh well. <laughs> We're under attack. That was an actual <laughs> It's Ian's birthday, everybody! Yay! You're now, me. you're now ancient. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> I've reached the point where I'm starting to die. Now, yeah. So. <laughs> you've reached a decline. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I've crossed over. So you've crossed over? <laughs> Great. Excellent. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start the game. So, um, I want to do a quick reminder. So this is because we have a special guest. We're going to get funky. We're going to get weird. But I do want to talk about what happened last game. So uh, last game, the Ether Bastards decided to meet up with the Red Talons. And they took on the job of going to rescue their captain from the underwater prison. Then y'all went into Miros City. How did that go? <laughs> we almost alerted every authority. Yeah, you walked into a magic shop and started picking everything up. And uh, we were me. so suspicious. So suspicious, which wouldn't have been a problem until Pearl whipped out the trait, I think. <laughs> yeah. And that was, that became an issue. You ever Real just walk quick. into the store and bust out a legal currency? Yeah, yep. that's fine. Don't we, worry about it. We've all been there. Everything's it, fine. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay, so then uh, after that, we split the party. You split the party. Decided to do some recon. So we have underneath <laughs> the ocean is uh, Flux and Pearl, who can both breathe underwater. Um, is what's happening currently. Well, it's more Robin like Flux can breathe underwater and Pearl just doesn't breathe. That, yes, <laughs> true. Robin would correct. Pearl doesn't There's a breathe. there is a difference. I have been informed. <laughs> <laughs> specifically. Uh, and then Hieronymus and Cyrus decided to jet off. Well, let me also say in disguise. disguise? In disguise, very specifically. <laughs> Cyrus kind of unwillingly in disguise a little bit. Um, and you just kind of were like, I guess this is fine. Hieronymus, what did you decide to disguise yourself as? Oh, uh, I. Did I say anything last you time? You didn't or am I make, say I anything. I didn't say anything? Okay, then uh, Then Hieronymus probably uh, made himself look like a... Um, oh, I don't know. Let's let's go all in and just impersonate as a Larian guard. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like an off-duty Zolarian. Sure, 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 of sure. Of well, well, let me remind you, Zalarians can be anybody. Yeah, I know. So, so your description is very, very... I'm a citizen of this empire. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, fellow Zalarians. <laughs> With my skate tour over my back. full of very different looking people. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to what you look like in a minute. Um, so here's where we're going to start our game. We are going to start our game. We find ourselves inside a hole in the wall... Uh, karaoke bar and 
<laughs> we're, we're jamming. Uh, well, are we jamming? Who's jamming out of the two of you <laughs> specifically? You walked into this karaoke bar with a purpose. What is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you both did that as you walked in. After you. After you. After you. After you. After after you. you. <laughs> uh, I think that we came here with the idea of trying to uh, suss out some information about like the uh, the schedules of the uh, the transports going to the the underground prison, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the underwater prison. Um, or uh, deliveries, because there's like a, a special delivery chute that gets utilized, and mm -hmm. uh, VIPs. you know, just what's that? VIPs. Yeah, yeah, VIP stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we know there's three entrances to this under underwater uh, sea prison of death, <laughs> and uh, and we were we were looking at a couple of different plans. Uh, as I recall, uh, Flux and Pearl were checking and uh, doing recon on the when the, the transport ship that moves the different guards was coming. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Red Talons, was mm -hmm. it? The Red mm -hmm. Talons, they were going to uh, hire a, a boat and uh, the plan was going to be that we were going to get inside and open up the delivery bay mm -hmm. so that they could come in through that way. Um, but uh, we were operating on uh, some some Incomplete information, I sure. feel. So, sure. so our purpose while they're out there swimming and, and bonding. <laughs> that Hirana <laughs> specifically asked for. <laughs> while they're out there working through their issues. With their issues. <laughs> uh, I think we were going to just be uh, kind of uh, fishing for information. Okay, That's certainly. Um, speaking of Red Talons, a couple of them came with you um, just because you kind of were like, well, let's go get a drink while we wait because yep. our two of our companions are under the water. Mm. Um, and they'll be under there for a while. Uh, so we find ourselves in this karaoke bar. And the, the two Red Talons that were with you, they kind of went off to get a drink and see kind of what's going on, um, ask around for things. It's not like a packed karaoke bar, but enough, enough that like, you know, you can jam if you want and be anonymous a little bit. Uh, is anybody, the, the mic is empty right now. Is anybody taking up the... <laughs> in the mic, <laughs> the karaoke bar. You can say no. No. I feel like no, you need to Cyrus. drink more first. <laughs> yeah. 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 Couple more. Uh, Hieronymus is going to swap out uh, Cyrus's can't get drunk mug. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have it on you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. I need you to roll a sleight of hand for that, please. <laughs> Do you want to contest it with some kind of perception, perhaps? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> odd magic item. Feels like it's only useful for specifically cheating at drinking contests. I, I think it sounds fantastic. <laughs> it has already come in handy. I'm sure it has. So Cyrus think, can think, be kind of cagey with think it. Think of all the people you could challenge to drinking. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's all it does. That's perfect. That's, I, I, I'm just <laughs> saying. That's an 18. Oh my God, Cyrus. Cyrus. Uh, Hieronymus uh, rolled a nat one. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, please, that's fitting. Please, please walk me through what this looks like. <laughs> Why do people keep trying to steal stuff? No, no, no. I need to know. I need to know right now. <laughs> hey, uh, Cyrus. Uh, oh, wow. Hey, look over there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh, that's not your mug. That's your dice tower. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Are you trying? Are you trying to steal my mug? I was trying to swap it out because you seem very—I uh, don't know—you seem tense, and I think that maybe uh, if you had a little bit to drink there, you know, loosen up uh, everything would be, uh, you know, a little better for you here. You know, you have a have a good time, loosen up. Uh, I mean, this trip shouldn't be all downer and uh, real depressing, you know, and real intense and heavy. I I do. I think that's happening under the water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even as flexed today, and you still can't stop calling me out. I just, I need a, like, a counter for breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> check, check. Uh, I do appreciate your concern, but I, I don't think p particularly me getting drunk here would be a great plan. Well, you don't have to get drunk. I mean, can't... Oh, do you... Do you have a problem where you can't like say no? You, like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I I did not know. Uh, so, but 
fine. We can we can at least loosen up, have a good time, or try to. It we're. Well, I kind of wanted to get you drunk so you'd go up on there and sing, <laughs> and make an ass out of yourself. <laughs> So that I could then sneak around and eavesdrop on conversations while people were distracted by you <laughs> belting out, uh, you know, classic rock tunes. <laughs> uh, um, I, h- how about this? I don't get drunk, but I make a fool of myself on that stage not drunk. <laughs> you can do that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. <laughs> News to me. Sober karaoke, what do they think of next? <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cyrus, get up on that dang stage. Oh, boy, I'm going to wow, this. Wow, you just so got here. <laughs> yep. That, just nobody here. beelines it for the karaoke, man. <laughs> It'll take a minute oh. to digest the situation. Yeah, you got to think about that first. <laughs> nope, Cyrus doesn't think about these things. He just knows them. Just... No, th- no thoughts, only no go. No thoughts, only, no thoughts, only distraction. He's done this before, okay. so not karaoke, but he's <laughs> done other distractions. That's before. true. Cyrus has done other distractions before. Ridiculous I distractions. Was, <laughs> I was hoping you had done karaoke before. I thought that would be funny. No. Um, okay. He has no idea what karaoke is, which is gonna be better. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know what karaoke nope. is. Nope. <laughs> okay, great. So you get up to the microphone and you do what? <laughs> Cyrus? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, he's on the look around. Is there anything other than mic, or is it just the mic? It's There's the mic, there's the floating hologram that's got the lyrics on it, and there's okay. the screen behind you that's got the lyrics on it. It's a little okay. tiny little karaoke stage. Okay. There's another one on the opposite side. It's like a, re- it's like a lengthy hole in the wall. It's really long, so there's one on the other side. Okay. It's like a train car. Huh. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting design, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh. unique. You want to build this world? We're the no, peanut no. gallery. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Cliff, I, wanna, Cliff. I just want to observe. No, sir, we're more like Statler and Waldorf, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got to go. <laughs> OK, cool. So you stand up in front of the microphone. And um, he's going to tap it first. Sure. <laughs> be like, it's um, on. What? Is there any particular song that is up right now? Uh, no, it's cycling through, like, your the list of options. Okay. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh. Not the mic, it's a prop. <laughs> it's a prop, it's a prop. Oh, okay. So you've got, you've got a cycling list, and it's you could, like, scroll yeah, you could through. scroll through it. Oh. And at this moment, <laughs> Liz has forgotten every, every song single song ever, that yeah. she's ever known in her life. No song. Well, songs. that's good because we can't sing them on stream anyway. It's just a copyright. <laughs> yeah, they're all copyrighted. copyrighted yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sing like some what made kind up of copyright song free song? song? Yeah. That's what I mean. What's, what's like, genre? Give us a genre. <laughs> cool. uh, it. Definitely, it would be classic rock. For classic sure. rock. All right. I mean, that make you do look the part right now. <laughs> yeah. This is so your old biker. <laughs> with his with his old biker look. Um, with the flames on your sleeve. He's just gonna scroll through. Cause he's not gonna rec- like see what songs he recognizes, if any. Yeah. Uh, and then select one and tap it. Okay. Great. Uh, you picked a song. I picked a song. I'll <laughs> roll for you if you want. Yes, please. By sheer coincidence, it's Katy Perry. We don't know how she got in space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Katy Perry. That's an space. eight, whatever that would be for for songs. <laughs> okay, so it, it's like picking a song? No. For singing the song. Singing the song. Great. Okay, so it's Space Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you don't know the lyrics at all. No. Nope. You can kind of carry the tune a little bit based off of what it's you're hearing. Perfect. <laughs> can you want to break me off a slice of that? Mama, I killed a man. <laughs> Put a blaster to his head. Come on, Cyrus, you know this one. A blaster to his head. <laughs> Of course, he picked the longest song. Pulls the trigger, <laughs> but I roll the one. <laughs> then he's uh, Are you dead. dead. You're not even going around <laughs> asking. You're just yelling at Cyrus now. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Boo, you suck. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Okay. <laughs> All right. So as, Did it <laughs> as this is happening, Hieronymus, God. you're kind of 
you're scoping out the place. Yep, you're looking for uh, for any kind of conversations that might be going on. Looking for anybody who maybe looks like they work, you know, at the prison or yeah. adjacent in the prison industrial complex. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. <laughs> um, so not, nobody really stands out to you like majorly. Everybody's off duty, sure. off off work, off. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you can tell the type. You can tell the type. Um, you know what? Roll me a perception. Oh, gonna make me roll for things. Nah. That's a big honk in twelve. Okay. Um, I mean, there's a couple people that like might, if you like, really like press them hard, you mm. might get something out of their like occupation. Um, but you notice at the bar, uh, behind the bar, is a very simplistic looking. He's droid? unusual looking. Unusual he's looking. He's got four long, like, mechanical arms with, like, Ooh. three fingers on each of them, and he's, like, moving a bunch of different glasses at once and handing them to different people. His head is just one, like, a big box. It's like an old computer screen. And then on the screen is a bunch of different faces that he's making, depending on the circumstance. <laughs> nice. And then uh, he's across... He's currently making this face, by the way, oh, because good. of Cyrus. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> across on the other side of the bar sits uh, a much larger individual uh, who looks like... Uh, yeah, so uh, across the bar, you see uh, what is a uh, four-legged, uh, horse-bodied, uh, mechanical being uh, is wearing uh, sort of has blue uh, ethereal makeup uh, is and by makeup I mean physical makeup uh, covered in armor that has been fashioned to look like a, uh, a sort of a, a white suit with a little tie uh, and they are uh, mounted atop what can only be described as a mechanical horse's body um, they are sort of talking boastfully uh, to anyone that will listen. Uh, and you can sort of overhear the voice uh, from where you are, you know, just, oh, yes, <laughs> well, I, I would have to say that would be, and you, you can sort of hear this blustery chatter coming out of, uh, out of him to anyone uh, that, that is nearby. So those are the most <laughs> interesting, I think. Nice. Individuals that you see. What you doing? So Hieronymus is going to go up to the bar, and uh, he's going to, yeah. Ahoy there, bartender. Hello. Welcome. I don't believe I've seen you in this place before. No, no. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm an off-worlder. Uh, I'm here uh, looking to maybe, you know, apply for a job at the uh, secret uh, <laughs> underwater prison, uh, if they're hiring. Your voice was different ten minutes ago when you were shouting up towards the stage. No, no, man. That was just a trick of the optics and the acoustics in here, man. Anyway, can I... Hey, you know, you're like a robot guy with four arms. Indeed. How may I help you? Are you single? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. No, because I know like a robot lady with four arms and she's really nice and I'm thinking, you know, maybe if, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> Anyway, can I get uh, some kind of a, a, a drink, man? Like, uh... What kind would you like? What do you recommend? What's the house specialty? <laughs> we have several different types that might suit your specific species. However, he's kind of like gonna look you up and down. I'm not quite sure I've seen it yet. <laughs> what are you in the mood for? Uh, surprisingly enough, given my extremely rugged demeanor, I like fruity drinks with umbrellas. We have many of those. They're quite popular at this place. Give me one moment, please. Going to go back to the bar and just begin to grab a bunch of different things and sort of mix them together. Uh, from, from across the bar, you, you do hear uh, a booming voice sort of, make me one of those as well, Sprocket. <laughs> Of course, sir. <laughs> you don't have to call me sir anymore. It's, it's, it's Euro. I've been coming to this bar for nigh on 20 years now. <laughs> Indeed. However, I am programmed to always refer to customers as such. And given that you are within my establishment, you are a customer. Oh, that's why I like you, Euro. You're the model of professionalism in a world that's gone asunder. I am programmed to do so. I'm going to keep making drinks. <laughs> Here you are, sir. 
Thank you! Do you have a method of payment? Start a tab for me. I see. I shall, in fact, do that. Begins to, like, press some buttons on the counter. <laughs> uh, I lean over. Uh, put, put, put them on my tab. I, uh, I see these uh, gentlemen here. It looks like a, a maybe potentially one of my own customers. So I'd like to ingratiate myself if I, if you don't mind. Your tab is currently at 12,000 trite. Oh, well, that should be no problem for your Olatos Star Strider, attorney to the stars. Of course. <laughs> Very good. Wait a minute. Does this bar take trite? Only sometimes. It depends on how often you come. I see. Excuse me, sir. Yes. As you notice, I've introduced myself as your Rolitos Star Strider. I fashion myself to be an attorney of sorts, representing the nefarious sundry that come through establishments such as this. Now, I can't help but notice your roguish look. Is there anything you wish to discuss with potential representation? <laughs> Well, I'm not really currently in need of legal counsel, but uh, give me 10 minutes and I probably will be. <laughs> that is exactly what I was hoping you would say. Please do not try to cause trouble while with on the premises. Oh yeah, no, I'm fine, but my buddy up there is about a quarter of the way through Space Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> Tends to get a little wild once uh, when, when he gets uh, a little tipsy, you know, so, but I'll try to keep him in check. My audio modules are disagreeing with me. <laughs> they were singing of murder. Is that accurate? Well, the song's about murder. Excellent. Uh, so you see, you've, uh, you've been hanging out here for, uh, for 20 years. Oh, now on some 20 years now. Yeah. I, I do travel uh, across uh, many different establishments on this, on this moon of ours here. Uh, I see, I see. Are you, uh, are you... Are you uh, affiliated with the, uh, the secret underwater Zalarian prison? I'm affiliated in so much as I work to keep clients out of and away from it. Oh, wow, that's, uh, that's really pretty cool and fantastic to know. Yes, uh, now I must say I also have a soft spot in my heart for what some may call justice. And if your goal is perhaps to infiltrate a prison. I may not know how to do so myself, but I'm certainly willing to discuss the legal ramifications of such an endeavor. If you are to do so, please take it outside. Oh, Sprocket, you are such, you are such a god. <laughs> I do try to make sure that no chaos erupts while on premises. You currently have a chaos rating of, he sort of scans you up and down, 49%. <laughs> 49%? Why, that's far less than I had not but two months ago. I was at 61, I believe. You did get up to 67. Oh, fantastic. This bar recognizes Euro for the chaotic power he is. Mm, I do not like this. <laughs> <laughs> he slides him like a coin across the bar. It's, a, it's just some trite. It's like a probably, I don't know. 500 trite. It's like a significant amount. If you're signing a bag of that, yeah, it's, a bag. it's like a big <laughs> Yeah, it's like a big heavy bag. And he's <laughs> just like, here, for your trouble, as always. <laughs> this should not be on the counter long. <laughs> Do I even need to be here? <laughs> I just, I don't know if I'm needed at this point. Well, I just love this guy. Well, I love this guy too. What's Schmel doing? Uh, did Sh Schmell did come Schmell with came you. With us. Uh, Schmell is flirting with the Fazillion in the corner. Ah, that makes sense for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he deserves Checks it. Out. He's well, <laughs> he's trying. Oh, he's trying his best. Come That's on, that's a three. Come on, oh. <laughs> come on, Schmell. Yama's right there. <laughs> Listen, Yama has eyes for someone else. Um, uh -oh. so yeah, Schmell is just <laughs> watching Cyrus on stage like. <laughs> <laughs> Good. What's the rest of the crowd's reaction to uh, to Cyrus looking like? Bad. 
I mean, are they throwing beer bottles yet? Or? You know what? I rolled a 17, so they're into it. What? They, you know what? Because this, so so classic rock is not very big in Miro City, so everyone is in, enjoying this, like, refresher of this song that they had forgotten for a very long time. Some people are singing along, and so you start to get drowned out by a group karaoke situation <laughs> happening because everyone's very into that. The lyrics are on screen, so Fair everyone enough. can read it and know what's going on. So they're having a very good time now. So you've 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 started to lead uh, a, a singing session of uh, a, a space Bohemian Rhapsody. Perfect. Well, that's where we're at right now. Um, so you think you know, <laughs> it's pretty my own. Okay. Um, so the song ends. Okay. Now what are we doing? <laughs> Look dead. Woo! <laughs> That got a lot better as you went along, man. <laughs> that, was, that got that got way better. Oh. Truly a rousing chorus. <laughs> Is anyone sharing encore? Because if not, you probably wake it up. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. No. They're like, yay! You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> Pointing at other people now. <laughs> He's gonna put it down. <laughs> head over to the bar. Okay, you're heading over to the bar. Oh. You, you getting a drink? Hello, sir. You were quite spirited on stage. What can I get you? These are my new friends. This here's uh, Sprocket, and this here's... Uh, oh, please, your roller toast star strider. Attorney to the stars. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. Um, do you have anything non-alcoholic? <laughs> I have several options, yes. What are you looking for? We have every flavor of sparkling water. Let's go for um, avocado. I was gonna say grape melon, but avocado, I guess, is what we're going for today. I will, I will go for avocado. I'm gonna go over one of the taps and just make a quick cup of that. I'm physically ill. <laughs> Your friends seem to be dabbling in illegal currency types. It would be best if you would pay in keen instead of trite. Mm-hmm. He'll take. He'll take the trite. <laughs> Not willingly. <laughs> if it's enough, you'll take it. Sorry, well, I'm overheating. I recognize that perhaps if I do not serve you drinks, more chaos will ensue. That is a fair assumption. Uh, and he isn't going to. I mean, look at this guy. This guy just looks like chaos. Flames, man. Flames. I'm gonna pop the collar. <laughs> I am not programmed to understand fashion. <laughs> However, yours is... Oh, that was in character. Unique. <laughs> uh, I can't have real PvP! <laughs> Zingdom. So you might get caught in the crossfire. I'm very sorry. <laughs> That's fine. I'm a big boy. Okay. Um, okay, cool. So we get some drinks. Yeah. We, we kind of settle in into uh, the corner. I, th I think you, everybody finds a corner. Yeah? You're, I'm at the bar. You're at the bar. I, I, I think that Euro is... Uh, you know, still making rounds. Like these are not his only potential clients, Got it. but uh, he is interested by outsiders that have made themselves come in with two red talons and look, uh, look, uh, look like they're here to perhaps cause some chaos. Yeah, the, the the red talon pirates are like they're. I mean, they blend in enough that they're not like super noticeable, but they're rough looking. You mm -hmm. know, they're not. So, yeah. Sprocket can also do like weight service, and uh -huh. he is like eyeing those two because they are the weirdest people that have walked in today. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So um, I'm probably going to leave bartending duty to one of my other fellow droids. Okay. And I'm just sort of going to be casually meandering about their area. Sure, 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 sure. As will I. Okay. <laughs> Casual meandering. Casual meandering. Oh, and by the way, as he comes around the bar, he doesn't have legs. He just has one long wheel that he's just rolling around on. No <laughs> wheel. Um, so... The the group of you, I don't know if you're hanging out with them now or yet or not, but around the area, nearby. right? Nearby. I was um, asking the bartender if he was single because I thought maybe we could fix him up with Pearl. Do you, do you think Pearl would go for that? Well, I don't know. I, I mean... Just gives you a... Appears to be very observant, at least. Um... I, if if you think that that would be something she would be into, I I do not know, but did were you 
Yeah, I couldn't really find anything out, man. It's like nobody around here is really talking much. I was trying to just eavesdrop a little bit. Uh, but this uh, this lawyer horse guy fella seems really... Attorney to the stars. Attorney to the stars guy uh, mm-hmm. seems really interested in, uh, you know, maybe... Uh, I don't know, he said something about busting into a prison, which seemed a little sus. But, you know, what do I know, right? Um, well, I mean, you know... Always uh, worth checking out. Yeah. So, uh, so hey, man. So, like, if there's suppose there's somebody who's uh, who's already been arrested, and we're looking to get mm. them out. Uh, if we were going to try to do that through, say, legal channels, you know, uh. like uh, appealing their uh, detention and stuff, uh, what would that all look like uh, from a tactical point of view? Now, let's be clear. Are we talking about a Zalarian prison? Is that the, is that the prison we're, t- we're discussing? Well, you've been hanging out here for 20 years. Mm. Surely you know about the secret underwater prison. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I, I, I do know legal means and mannerisms for us to appeal someone's sentence, but I prefer... Well, you've seen that I deal in trite. Yes. And... I prefer sometimes to engage in what some may call extra legal means. And I provide these services alongside my legal services so that one may achieve a peaceful, whole experience in both body and mind. I got it. So you you help people break the law Uh, and then you charge them to get them out of trouble for doing it. Precisely. Yes. That is a very clever business model. Put eloquently. Thank you, sir. Are we sure that Hieronymus and Euro have an encounter has before? <laughs> he wouldn't know. That. That's true. And I that, probably have forgotten. That's true. Uh, that's may, true yes, mayhap I have met a version of yourself once before. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. Excuse right. me. Yes. Your drinks are at 65% capacity. Would you like refills? Apologies. <laughs> uh, I am good, but thank you. Are you sure? You seem to be discussing something of high importance. Drinks usually help that process. Personally, I could go for a round of drinks. And if these gentlemen will not have drinks, I will take theirs for myself. (laughs) This can be done, so long as your tab doesn't overextend itself. Oh, you don't have to worry about me. And he, like, jingles up so many pockets. (laughs) Like, you don't, you couldn't believe how many pockets, and they're just shaking up and down. Are you attempting to do business again with my clientele? Oh, I wouldn't say business. I'm making friends. It seems to be business. <laughs> business friends. You you know it's uh I don't 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 trouble yourself. I am here to ensure that chaos does not occur. Will chaos <coughs> occur from your transaction? Certainly not here. Explain. Not, no explanation necessary, Explain. my good friend. Oh, well, I just <laughs> mean to say that uh, I love your establishment and the people in it, and I can assure you that nothing of the sort will happen here Well, you are looking at me. <laughs> it won't happen at this time. Yes, what they said. If I can ensure this, I will help. What is it you require? Well. Please, tell, tell the man. It seems like he might know something. I shouldn't say he's a robot. Is there somewhere we can speak more privately? Yes, we do have a back room. It does require a tip of high caliber, however, to access. I think we can cover that. Wait, <laughs> follow me. Wait, what does a robot need a tip for? I have things I like to purchase for my bar. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you own the bar? I own part of the bar, along with all of my cousins, as I point towards the bar of a bunch of equal looking <laughs> droids who are all the same. Sure. Wow, all right, that's, that's cool. Yeah, all right, man, so let's, uh, let's hit to this uh, back room. What kind of tip are we talking about here? Sprocky. It depends what you're talking about. Follow me. <laughs> this droid is 100%. <laughs> this is one corrupted droid. <laughs> um, great. Okay. 
So who's coming back? We got the to to you. You're not. I assume. How not. how well is Schmel doing? Oh, let's find out. Does he need rescued? He is eleven. He's going up from a three. <laughs> Gotta grab Schmel too. <laughs> okay, great. No. Just put a hand on his shoulder and lift him up. Like mm, yes. You could use a drink. No. Uh, what's going on? Come on. Okay. Does Does anyone in the bar notice this party heading back? Nope. Nope. It's somebody else gets up on stage, starts singing another song. It's a ballad. Don't ask me what it is. It's a space song. So I don't. It's in a different language. So I don't know the. One of those classic space songs. Space songs. Yeah. Yeah. Space ballads. He's singing in binary, so it's all one. Yeah. There's a lot of beeps and boops. Um, Your cousins are. But Otto would be jamming. (laughs) Otto would have a good time. Um, Otto is not here right now. And uh, that would yeah, bring so the chaos up way too high. To <laughs> there's a there's a lot of things happening, so nobody really notices. Um, as Sprocket takes you down the long length of the entire karaoke bar uh, to a to a back room, you go into a very small room, and there's a door, and then there's another door. It's like three chambers deep, um, and as you open the last door you see a neon hover sign that's kind of small that uh, says k-a-l-l uh right above uh the entrance and there is on your right there is a weapons check and uh on your left you can see overlooking a uh underground ish uh casino we do, in fact, have a back room. <laughs> <laughs> Will we be needing to check our weapons then? Is that, is that something we do? Yes. It does uh-huh. say weapons check on the door. <laughs> oh, like you're just checking to see how good they are? To make sure that you do not bring them inside for possible harm. Oh, okay. Uh, Who's giving up their weapons? <clears throat> Uh, Euro is going to actively try to conceal at least one, if not many, weapons. Okay. I'm going to try to make sure he doesn't do that exactly. <laughs> right. will hand over the big blaster. Okay, big blaster. Great. That's it. Uh, roll me sleight of hand to hide everything else. Same sleight of hand. All Perception. Right. <laughs> it's a 14. That's okay. A, that's a 12. Okay. Uh, 19. God! <laughs> okay. It would so, appear that you forgot several weapons. <laughs> you can only see one more of Cyrus's. You can the shuffling like reveals a yeah, ton no, of them. Yeah, uh, no. There's a there's a big scimitar uh, that he just whips out and he's like, "You got me again." <laughs> and then there's like a big sickle he pulls off his back. Okay. And then there's two knives down by his hooves and he's just like, "Oh, you always you you rascal. You always find out my tricks." I am observant. That is what I am paid to do. Also, I am programmed to do so. Also, I cannot stop. It always occurs. <laughs> Hieronymus, what'd you roll? Oh, uh, Hieronymus has, like, his weapons are all, like, automatically disguised looking. Like, he's got those hairpin things, yeah. and he's got the folding uh, razor. Yeah. So he's like, I don't have any weapons on me. Do you, did you not bring your rapier with you? Uh, no, I kind of swapped it out for the, uh, for the foldy uh, okay. yeah. thing. Just roll the sleight of hand to see how suspicious you look. So he only sees one of my you other You roll 14, right? Yes. Yeah. Only okay, one. so he's going to pull out one of the collapsible javelins then. Going to put it in a bin to the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the oh, that's a 19 on the sleight of hand. Oh, my God. Okay, great. So you don't look suspicious. You don't have no. any weapons on you. Yeah. In fact, while he's checking him, I probably grabbed, like, Cyrus's big blaster and stuck it on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me see... Let me see what Schmel uh, does here, because I forget that he's with you. <laughs> he's, Don't forget about he, Schmel. Okay, I'm not okay. Schmel. He's, he was What's just flirting. Schmel? He's drinking, you know, all of <gasps> that. He's drunk. <laughs> yeah, he's like, and then and then they were like, we well, but you're like not my happen. type. So I was like, I That's don't know if like. 100% <laughs> you rescued him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Smell rolled a four, so he's pretty drunk. Uh, he's got a spear on him, 
So he's like, oh, so then this is my sphere. So I'm not that drunk. You appear to be highly intoxicated. No. I am sad. <laughs> Your blood alcohol content is over the legal amount. <laughs> There's no legal amount for people like me. Now, who's you... going around making legal accusations? <laughs> I don't believe uh, you are qualified uh, to be making any kind of legal judgments. But... I am referring to driving a vehicle. Oh. I don't drive. Well, it's, uh, there you have it. Be careful. Okay. I, we are here in this casino. Is this a casino? It is a casino. Great. I can't bet at this. <laughs> uh, so you, actually, you know what? Everybody roll me perception. Mm. I want to see what you see in this casino. What is it? Dang. I keep getting. Even with my positive perception, I still can't roll very high. 19. Uh, six. You don't know what any of this is. Come on, means. internet. No. Nine. I mean, I've probably been here before. Yeah, but it's just a bunch of people. I'm just like, yeah, it's just a place. I rolled a three. Oh so my god. <laughs> Why? I will, I will join you in my ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never played any kind of betting game before, Euro? Euro doesn't bet. Okay, got it. Great. That uh, makes sense. What did you get? 19. 19. Cyrus oh. has been a bouncer in a lot of different places. Yes, yes. Uh, you were a bouncer in a casino just like this, I think. Not exactly this one, but just like this. What'd you get? That one, baby. That one. <laughs> how, how are you not see? Okay, you're overwhelmed by all of the cons you could pull off in this oh, yeah, exact yeah. minute. So, Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you see, there are a couple card games happening. There are three major dice games that are happening. Um, you would be familiar, I think, with some of them. I don't know if you've played, but you know what they are. We've got uh, Sharks, Dice, Blood, and Rat Race. And if you want to play, I will tell you how those work. Um, you see a bunch of just different uh, customers that Figure are like um, you got gambling and doing kinds of a bunch of other stuff. And then... The, when you look in, it, the casino is sunk in, but there's an elevated platform on the other side. And on the other side, you can see a grasshopper-like alien with cybernetic eyes on the other side that's standing over, like looking at everything, just scanning around. Okay. So that's what you see. Nobody else sees shit. <laughs> nope. I'm looking at them. Yeah. <laughs> I encourage you all heavily to gamble to your heart's content. Assuming you have money. Oh, speaking of, uh, there is a, uh, what did I, what did I, uh, cage. There's a money cage. Yes. Um, that will, if you look at the little sign, will exchange, uh, trite for keen, or keen, yeah, trite for keen, uh, and they will sell you keen gloves if you Ooh. would like to have those. Yeah. Cyrus, <laughs> Cyrus Natchez Eronimus and points over to the cage. Well. <laughs> if you were looking to get some keen on you, now would be the time. Indeed. Definitely thinking about making a beeline. <laughs> okay. There. Great. So how much trite are you putting down on the table there, bucko? What's the tra <laughs> what's, what's the, the ooh, What's the conversion rate? The there? conversion rate is not great. It's like 10 to 1, right? It's like way higher. It's way higher. Figured. Um, the keen gloves are 50. They're okay. just a flat cost that you have to buy. Okay. If you want to buy them. Yes. So. All right. Going to buy... There it is. Um, Somebody won big. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I love this sound set so much. Thank you, Sirenscape. Um, do we want to get the others some as well, or just get ourselves the gloves? <laughs> they don't gotta know. Yeah. Um, we know when we walked around wearing them. No, yeah, it's, uh, we should definitely, uh, we should we should definitely get some for the other two people, you know? I mean, we don't want to leave them out of the loop. Do I need one? No, man. Okay. okay. We got you covered, bro. Oh, thank bro. you. <laughs> bro, you look weird. You look drunk. I ha There's something in it. I didn't, I had one glass. I had one glass. This is why I don't drink places where I've not been before. Mm. Yeah. Euro, Euro ha hands Schmel a business card. <laughs> it's just like, he actually tucks it like into whatever he can see as a pocket. And it's just like, I think you won't be needing this legal. I shouldn't. I sh I'm with them. 
Okie dokie. Okay. We should find a private place to sit. Okay. There is an empty uh, table with a dealer. What what game would y'all like it to be? Blood. Blood? <laughs> I'm not picking. Okay. <laughs> There's a there is a blood dealer uh, available to you. Is he a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> kind of vampiric. <laughs> they have fangs and they have a really like square head with a furrowed brow mm. um, and really big shoulder muscles. And they're like a gray toned skin. Makes sense. Fair enough. Okay, so you sit down at the blood table. Uh, the dealer asks, uh, who's playing? I am just ensuring that they behave. <laughs> Normally I don't gamble, but given that most of this money was recently acquired, I suppose I could indulge. <laughs> what are you betting? Is it trite or? So Keen? you've exchanged it for chips. You yes. have chips. So Great. it's your value is in chips. I don't know then... how to play this game, me, the human <laughs> yes, man. I know. I'm going to explain um, it to you. <laughs> okay, good. But I'm, I'm definitely going bit. big right off the jump. Okay. Um, uh, five chips. Okay, five. All in. Uh, Do you... I, will t I will actually take this. Okay. Because uh, I, I love a prop. Um, great. Okay, so house match is your bet. So if you get it, you get double. Um, who else is betting? Cyrus is putting two in. Betting two. Okay. Um, later. So we're going to... So it's, it's, it's per person. So we'll have you start. So the idea is you uh, roll two... D6, okay. and then you calculate the whole amount of points. Um, if you get a seven or a 12, you win. If you don't, you lose. That's My goodness! <laughs> it's a simple game, because I'm... All right, so he's shaking the <laughs> dice. He rolls it, uh, and um, I'm going to say the first one, he, yeah, he just, it's Are an eight. You're rolling me real dice, my dude. I don't have physical dice. Oh, I mean, you can roll in digitally, but... I only have digital oh, I was just gonna, I was just gonna... He just needs 2d6, right? Yeah, 2d6. Yeah, All right, let's do it for real. A six. And together? A six, okay, together, Okay, great, yes. you lost. That, that's is the pool now. All right, cool. We're putting... Shucks. We're matching, we're matching in. All right, seven or 12? <laughs> I got a seven. All right. Okay. <laughs> Bravo! There you go. That would be real... That would be... Cyrus is right, and be like... <laughs> Great, cool. Um, the the dealer is gonna go switch out dice, um, so you have a minute to talk at an empty table. Now, some other sorts. He's uh, purposely trying to lean away from Sprocket. Some more nefarious sorts may try to influence the dice in different ways. I myself have never succeeded, but hey. I'm always game for someone trying new creative ways to make a buck. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm just really bad at dice games, man. Dice hate me. <laughs> I don't think the dice hate. I don't think it's in their nature. I think it's in their nature to show us truths about ourselves. Huh. Sorry, where was I? <laughs> I, uh, I think the dice are just tools, and they don't have much control over anything, and they're random, but that is just me. Cyrus gets Well, it. you, so you've been around here for a long time, like, what, or, or you, I mean, surely you must have some very, uh, um, intricate and detailed, uh, methods of preventing people from cheating here, don't you? Yes, we kill them. No, no, but I mean of detecting cheating. Oh, yes. We do have anti-magic cheating device, or anti-cheating magic devices. Apologies. Anti-cheating magic, like what kind of anti-cheating magic devices do you have? If I disclose that information, you are more likely to cheat. No, no, because if you tell me about it, then I'd be like, wow, no sense cheating now, because they have this cool method. Sorry, I believe him. Can I roll a persuasion check on it? Sorry, just gonna, please, please. Are you going to contest this? I guess. All right. Well, I don't even know what role that is. Uh, some kind of insight. Insight, probably. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. 
12. Uh, well, I rolled, Shoot, a, <laughs> I rolled a two on the dice, so I also got a 12. <laughs> hey! <laughs> wow. God, you have a big bonus to that. Holy shit. Ooh. Um, Plus 10. Okay. Well, what's your mod for that? For what? For Whatever uh, you rolled. Insight? Mm -hmm. It's plus five. Okay. So you're, you're, <laughs> plus ten. you're squeaking out. You're squeaking out. You're very suspicious. I'm extremely suspicious. Your, your programming is making you suspicious, but there's nothing you can prove. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> We currently have several devices around the entryways to this place, as well as through the ceilings, as there are several vents. These devices all detect any sort of magical device that you may be holding on you, recording it while not going off, so that we know where you are at all times. Wow, that, that seems really robust. You, you run a tight ship here. We certainly try. <laughs> cool. Just staring. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> the dealer comes back. Right, is anybody else playing another round of blood? The probability doesn't seem strong, but I'll bet again. It is as, just under twenty uh, percent. As the uh, as a um, like a, uh, a like a, one of the cocktail bots is going past with it's a little. It's a bazillion, tray. actually. It's She's, a what? It's a bazillion, box. which is the rabbit Bot. alien race. Uh, it's oh, yeah. got the uh, uh, four sets of eyes and. Two big ears. Okay. Um, Rabbit. She, she's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got like a tray of drinks. Mm -hmm. uh, Hieronymus is going to just to test the the anti cheating measures. Uh, <laughs> is going to use his uh, his newfound uh, telekinetic abilities uh, that he has here. <laughs> We're gonna get arrested. No, 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 no. Literally, just detect magic everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. But it's telekinesis, right? So is it really a magic spell? It's still Mage Hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if you roll 17 or higher, I'll let you get away with whatever you want. Don't bet against well, the don't, dice. Don't, don't, say don't bet against the dice. Do not bet against the dice. <laughs> no, not anything. Anything? Just the telekinesis. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, so like, um, so like I'm obviously not cheating, right? And there wasn't a big sign that says, hey, don't use any kind of magical abilities here. Yeah. No. It's just obviously using it for cheating would be bad. Yeah. yeah. There's so, just detection um, measures. Detection measures. Yeah. So yeah, so he's going to uh, try to uh, just, uh, uh, as she walks past, he's going to try to mage hand a, a drink off of the tray and just set it on one of the tables there, uh, you know. Yeah. Not stealing the drink and not damaging anything and certainly not cheating at dice and getting killed. <laughs> But he's just checking to see whether they can detect his uh, his. That stuff. just happens, right? With your telekinesis. Yeah, but it's, okay. it's like I, I get the mage hand cantrip, right? Yeah, um, you technically cast mage hand, and the hand's invisible, so yeah, it's just mage and mage hand just happens. Um, minor telekinesis. Nope. Nothing happens. I mean, cool. th that you're aware of, right? Like no alarms go off. No, right, right, right. you know, nobody comes barreling down. But on I'm you. watching his old his old face thing. Just, little, just little, staring with a little smile. Still yeah. with a little smile? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, anybody? So you're betting. What are you betting? Well, go big or go home, I always say. Wait. <laughs> ten, ten. God, okay. Ten. Great. Ten <laughs> chips for me. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Eight, nine, ten. Okay. Good Lord. I guess this is what... Casinos are like, I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> all right, roll me your 2d6. Seven or 12. Oh, this is stressing out the real person for real. Nope, that's a 10. <laughs> <laughs> the house wins again. What can I say? I have failed in yet another endeavor involving the fates that guide me. I did tell you that you only had about a 20% chance. I heard you but I believed in myself and in the universe itself in providing me with some kind of, some kind of divine inspiration. Of course. <laughs> um, anybody else playing around that? There's 20 in the pot. Excuse me, before we continue, you did say that you wished for a private place to discuss things, yes? Yes. Is that going to happen now, or is that going to happen after the game ends? 
Well, <laughs> looked at her on his, uh, are, are you gonna play around or? I am absolutely not playing in this casino because those odds are horrible. Correct. For, th for this game. <laughs> for this game. Well, what other games we got available? Uh, Rat Race and Shark's Dice, uh, which are a little less risky than that. Um, and then, you know, if you see a card game that you want to play, uh -huh. you're more than welcome to play that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I will explain the rules of these other games just for funsy. Sure. Shark's Dice. Uh, you bet uh, any amount. And then uh, roll a d6, and then I roll three. And if one of them has your number, you get your money plus an equal amount. If two of them have your number, you get your money plus a double amount. And if three of, if all three of them match, you get your money plus a triple amount. Oh my. Um, if none of them match, house keeps the money. And then rat race is everyone rolls a d6. The highest roll gets a plus one. Uh, and then every round we bet, and the first, so you accumulate your total. So if you roll four the first round and then six the next round, you have 10. The first to get to 20 gets the pot. Uh, I, I want to, I think I want to play that one where you match the dice. The first one I said? Yeah. All right, cool. So you're not playing blood. This is the pot for blood. Yeah, yeah no, okay. I'm not going to play blood. Go ahead, finish playing blood, whoever's doing that, then I'll move on you to something else. Playing again? Sure, why not? Okay. The odds are significantly less, but... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, seven over 12. Six. Okay. Nope. All right, cool. So, now I have these. Um, <laughs> the, you get up, the dealer uh, thanks you. Does anybody leave the dealer a tip? Yeah. Great. Uh, Euro, Euro, Euro slides uh, a one, one additional chip. One additional chip. Uh, for your trouble. Oh, I can't reach that far. So <laughs> for me. <laughs> That's what he says. For me. Um, great. And are we heading over to shark a shark's dice table, Hieronymus? That, yes. Okay, great. Okay, so what's your bet? So you sit down, the dealer opens up a new set of dice, <clears throat> asks you for your bet. Hello, dealer. Hello. Are you a robot too? No. All right, cool. The robots only work in the bar. Ah, so is this like affiliated with the bar, or are you like totally separate? There, well, uh, there's a cut, but I don't get it, so. We work together on occasion. Occasions. Why yeah. are you following me, man? Because I need to make sure that you do not break anything or commit any sort of illegal activity. And if you do, it needs to be covered up quickly. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's the kind, precisely up. the kind of attitude that makes me money. <laughs> I do not like chaotic things occurring. So if they do, they must be stopped. Or covered up. Or covered up. Perfect. We prefer cover up to stop. We'll see which one happens first and which one is most convenient. All right. So okay. Hieronymus uh, says, anyway, I'm going to play a little game of this shark thing here, right? Okay, so I'm going to bet five chips, my good dealer person friend. <clears throat> Give me the power here. Okay, what? Uh, so roll your d6. All right. So that is a deuce. Okay. <clears throat> three, three, and three. Did I say two? <laughs> I swear. Look, please, no, I need look, a double it says check. three. <laughs> that's right. Okay. That's, that's I believe you. Roll. Me. <laughs> Whatever deception you want to roll. Uh -huh. I, I just want to know if I can see that shit. Um, <laughs> yes, please. Is, is this inside Euro, or is this? Euro uh, yeah. puts his hand on his back uh, and uh, casts Guidance. Okay. Um, so you can add, roll uh, at a d4 to whatever you roll. Nice. Well, I got a 14 on that roll because I have a plus 10 on that as well, but I rolled a four on a d20. Oh my God. Because dice hate me. Today. Oh my God. You need to roll some real dice. Yeah. And uh, well, I got a d4 that I can add to that, so let's do that. And that is going to be a uh, one, so that gives me a grand whopping total of 15 on the deception check. Um. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, my eyes are bad, but you can see right here this is clearly a three. 
And I don't know how why I said two. <laughs> Can Cyrus look up and see the uh, grasshopper individual? Yep, yep. Uh, are they paying any attention right now? Um, oh, and Euro's just celebrating. Oh, congratulations! Okay. That's the first winner in our bunch. Well, the second winner in our bunch, I should say, but first major Keep winner. Keep five as a tip, my good friend. <laughs> Fantastic. What, what generous individuals <laughs> to have amongst <laughs> our midst. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. I am such a fan of these emote cards. <laughs> <laughs> they make life easy. You know, I, I believe somebody was going to make Pearl a face. <laughs> <laughs> and you were trying to make new eyes. I could just give Pearl a box head. It's perfect. <sighs> With emote cards. I'm not doing that. But that would be funny. That would be But so Robin would be so mad at me because you already so much art for Pearl with a face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Anybody else playing another round of Shark Strikes? <laughs> I'm running out of chips. <laughs> Do you want mine? Or break no, I have a whole, I have a whole box of them. Okay. I just don't want to break them out. Um, anybody else? Are you playing again, Hieronymus? Are we? No, no. Hieronymus okay. is going to sit on his winnings there a little bit. Sure. Great. You playing? Sure. <laughs> you don't have to. Nope. nope. <laughs> okay. Cool. So roll me a d6. Five. Five. All right. One. Five. Cool. <laughs> Perhaps I should have played this game. <laughs> yeah, this is not yes, working yeah. out well for um, me. So, uh, so about the uh, the. I, you, you seem to be stifling conversation by your very presence. <laughs> <laughs> On the contrary, I think our good friend here has brought an air of decorum and professionalism uh, to my. Not business that I am not conducting on these premises. You are not technically upon my premises. Fantastic. I am conducting business. <laughs> that is certainly accurate. And I wish to be hired by each and every one of you in what inevitably will be a catastrophe. Oh. I do not like catastrophes. Well, would you like to come with us and keep it from becoming a catastrophe? Yes. <laughs> As we're talking about catastrophes, uh, Schmel comes over with drinks for everybody. Mm. Okay. I found these. They're, they're tasty, like pineapple and avocado. When Not you together. said found, you don't mean on other people's tables. <laughs> no, perhaps. there was a very nice lady who had them on a tray, and I said, no, 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 no I'll take them. I got this. Looking across <laughs> over, trying to see if anybody looks panicked or distressed. No, uh, there's a couple. There's a couple more Fazillion uh, gr girls walking around that seem fine. Yeah. Good. You though. should have one too. I am not capable of drinking liquids. I don't care. You should have one. I do not have a mouth. That's a problem for somebody else. <laughs> Uh, I think Euro <laughs> leans over to to uh, to Hieronymus and says, "A lot of peer pressure from your friend. I, she's, I, they're trying to peer pressure a droid, I do believe. It's, I I don't know precisely how drunk they are, but uh, you may want to." Pearl would drink this. Pearl I, would drink this for me. Pearl would drink that, but you are not wrong. <laughs> so you should. She's not here. So somebody. So somebody. This droid is not working for me. No, I am not. <laughs> this droid works for himself. He is a business owner, after all. Yes. Partial business yeah, owner, Yeah, that's yes. not what I meant. But what is it you meant? Try a drink. I cannot. You are a party pooper. I literally cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I am physically incapable of doing the action that you require. But Pearl would do it. I do not know this Pearl, although I assume by designation that she is a nanny droid. She is. Nanny droids should also not be drinking on the job. <laughs> <laughs> that does seem to arouse my legal suspicions. <laughs> None of us are babies. Are you I sure? <laughs> I feel like she may argue that one. Pearl can kiss my butt. Does this Pearl have a mouth? Ooh, there's something not. romantic in there. <laughs> Not literally romantic, more like poetic. <laughs> Does the droid have a mouth with which to kiss? A question we must all ask ourselves. Please be quiet. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm I'll gonna... be right back. And Cyrus is <laughs> going to go to the cage to get uh, four of the gloves. Four of the gloves. All right, cool. Great. So you are out. 200, right? That's fine. I wish I knew where. You, you're you're keeping track of your own trite. Um, as as Cyrus is gone, I'm going to turn towards you. What is your future plan regarding this thing that may become disastrous? What is your opinion of secret Zalarian prisons? I don't really have opinions. I was not programmed for them. No. Oh. But if I had to attempt to formulate one based on what I've heard, I do not think I like prisons very much. Who does? Many of my patrons yeah. get thrown into them. This is not good for business. Yeah, yeah, like, so, like, if somebody, and, and I can't speak to who this could possibly be, but suppose somebody were to, like, break into the <clears throat> a Zalarian prison that may or may not exist under this ocean nearby and, uh, like, release a bunch of potential customers, that would only benefit you, right? Most likely. Assuming that the Zalarians do not immediately recapture said prisoners. Yeah. You would have to have a plan to make sure that that does not happen. Yeah. Yeah, we would. Huh. I was thinking, um, like, when everybody gets out, they could all scatter in different directions, man. That may cause chaos, which mm, would be unfortunate. Right. Yeah, chaos. Yeah. Huh. Once they're out, they could hire a really good lawyer. Now here is where I must interject. I think this is a fantastic idea. And you know as well as I do that I do not bring chaos, I bring customers. This is technically correct. Exactly. <laughs> what better correct is there than technically? <laughs> See, as I understand it, the issue is that the Zalarians don't actually like take people and give them trials and uh, stuff like that. They just kind of like they kind of uh, render them to this uh, secret underwater prison thing. So if we got them out and then a lawyer took all their cases, why then they would all have a chance at justice and buying <laughs> drinks. They may also be killed off. How does that hurt you. It doesn't. I'm just proposing an opportunity to throw a wrench in your plan. My plans are like giant wrench receptacles, man. <laughs> I can see that. Personally, I would say that I'm willing and re able to represent anyone who escapes from prison, is due to go to prison, or would like to get to a prison uh, as I may have mentioned, uh, I, I, I do like to facilitate certain things that may garner me more clients. Uh, I know I do not believe I will be going to any such adventures with you, but any help I can provide along the way, I'd be happy to do so. <clears throat> do you know anything about like any, uh, any VIPs uh, who come through sometimes and visit the, uh, the prison? Do I? Uh, who wants to roll for this between the two of you? I mean, I'm you're a bartender. I know a lot of shit. Yeah, you're both welcome to I'm a roll. local lawyer. Roll, roll history. History. Oh, no, uh, I'm bad at intelligence things. Uh, is that cocked? That was cocked. <laughs> shit. No, that's one. <laughs> oh, my God. It was a 12, but it was leaning against yeah. the other die, so I was like, fuck, I can't yeah. take that. I rolled a six. Okay. Uh, I mean, y you make a guess. <laughs> you don't know, and you don't know. No, I rolled a, technically I rolled a zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. To answer oh, your man. question, I will say flat n no. <laughs> is that a, is that a, I'm, I've become confused in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> and uh, I must say that uh, I, I don't know the answer to your question. It's fine, it's fine, man. We don't really need to have an answer. I was just throwing it out there in case you did. All right. So, <clears throat> how about the? Uh, do you guys do you get like a lot of the people who work at the prison who stop here like after they get off their shift? Probably, right? Nope. No, not at all. No, that was a four. 
Unfortunately, no. They tend to go to higher-end bars, because they are paid slightly more than the average worker. Where, where are those? <laughs> I've not been informed of those bars. If you cannot find them, you should not go to them. Ah. Uh, so we're having that kind of day, I understand. <laughs> Um, another Fazillion comes by and she places uh, drinks in front of everybody. She places an oil can in front of you, Sprocket. Um, it is appreciated. Who drinks it? They're, the oil? They're, the oil. They look, they, I mean, <laughs> you don't drink it. Fuck you. <laughs> you use it. Fine. Like a fucking Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Yes? Of course. Okay. I know you're uh, not drinking, but enthusiastic. are you drinking it? You still have your mug, so <laughs> couldn't successfully steal it. Yes? Uh, yeah, sure. Hieronymus, are you drinking? No. Okay, everybody... I mean, Hieronymus is like fake nurse drinking it. Sure. Everybody by Hieronymus, roll me a constitution. Six. Okay. My goodness. Eleven. Okay. It was almost a one. And what is it now? Uh, it is a 18. Oh. Six constitution. <laughs> yeah, God, okay. 12 plus six constitution. No, 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 please, please. That seems very much in character. Okay, cool. Uh, you, are, we're sitting at a table for Shark's Dice, I believe, is still where we're at, and the dealer is <laughs> uh, kind of letting you talk. Uh, as uh, most of the dealers, honestly, most of the dealers in this place kind of understand this. This is an underground casino that a lot of people come and do back alley dealings, basically. Mm -hmm. So uh, that dealer's just patiently waiting uh, if anybody uh, is <coughs> willing to play another round of Shark's Dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll keep the keep the chips flowing here sure, so sure, that sure. we don't get kicked out. You know? As long <laughs> as we keep gambling, we can keep talking yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. whatever All right. we want to do. Okay, cool. So you are betting... Five. Five. And we're rolling, we're rolling. What you got? Uh, that is a four. <clears throat> I've got one four. All right. So... Man, this game's easy. <laughs> this game is. Much better odds than that blood game. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't, I don't back know. Back to his 50, tip there. 50 or oh, something. Thank I, you. Don't, I don't know. Thank you. Um, okay, cool. Anybody else playing around? Sure. Okay. I'm going to do four. Great. Excellent. Four. And what's your number there? Four. Four. <laughs> and I've got two fours. My goodness, we have a hot hand tonight, and <laughs> it's everyone except me, it seems. <laughs> do you want do you want to play around, sir? No. <laughs> <laughs> Will I've you lost so much. <laughs> Will you have enough to cover your tab? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you sure about that? That is uh, a lie. That is a lie. <laughs> I am telling a lie as a person, but uh, 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 yes, I will for certain have enough <clears throat> to cover my tab and then some. You should make sure that you do before you attempt to leave the premises. Oh, I, I, you need not worry about me. My word is my bond and my pockets are jingle jangling with all the various coinage that you could ever want. I do not worry about you, although I do worry for you. Ah, so the, again, the contention ramps up another notch. I see. All right. So down to brass tacks here, right? Suppose somebody wanted to go bust somebody out of that uh, out of that prison, right? What kind of insight as locals do you have that might assist in such an endeavor? What kind of insight do I have, Britty? Yes, Britty. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me some not some history. I can't do history, Britty. I don't care. <laughs> I'm a bartender. I don't know yeah, shit. I need, I'm, I'm just good with people. That's yeah, my thing. I need to uh, tell. Does me a this. 14 know something? Um, I think you know. What are we looking for? We're looking for like Zalarian insight. Yeah. And, yes. Anything that would be useful. Yeah, I think um, you know that this town is considered like law abiding, but there is a lot of underbelly, like as evidenced you by being say. in the <laughs> casino. Yeah. Um, and, but they, there's a lot of like, uh, if the Delarian Italians come by, people will 
kind of shape up. Um, what did you roll? I rolled a three. Okay, great. So um, I think you know enough that uh, you, I, I think you can infer, maybe you don't know this for sure, but you can infer that the secret underwater Zalarian prison is not a regular prison. There's a regular justice system, but right. the Zalarians use a lot of show of force for a lot of things. Um, yeah, and so I, this I, is space yeah. Gitmo. I, I think that uh, I, I think that uh, Euro, who has been putting on a big show, will say, "No, if I if I may be honest with all of you, I I don't know anything about an underwater prison. Uh, I've heard rumors, but uh, location, uh, whereabouts, uh, people who work there, I, I know very little. Uh, I, I pray I can only tell you the things I've heard in passing and from clients who." quickly zip their lip if, uh, if they have anything to say about such a thing. That is all to say I don't know shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was not programmed with information regarding said prison. Hmm. My apologies. Now, there must be someone here who must know something about this place where you all wish to go, which will inevitably net me more clients. If you've not noticed, I am quite concerned about gaining clients. If Let's you need, just put that out there. If you need information on other clientele that we have around the premises, I may know more about them, if that is helpful in any way. Sure, man, hit me with what you got. Good Gonna note. scan around. If there's anybody important in here. <laughs> uh, roll me a perception. I'm at least decent at those. Yeah. Oh, that's cocked. I always roll one that's like good and then it cocks. And then I roll it again that it sucks. You need a different tray. Seven. No, Seven. I like this tray. It's got a snowman on it. It doesn't. Maybe that's for your different rolls. We need to get you a roll for their the box. I think for Euro not. is looking for like the, the richest person in this room. Oh, okay. Like presenting as like, yeah, like, like there's money there. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. That's Seven, not the worst, um, but it's a 12! Oh. Sprocket, I don't think you recognize anybody at the moment. Um, you do know that some of the uh, like security guards, bouncers who are like in the corners sometimes will uh, work for the karaoke bar. So like you recognize those faces. Right, right, like right. Like they kind of trade employees sometimes. Uh, Euro, I think there's a wide variety of, of people here. And you can't, it, it gets to the point where it's like that person might have money, but they also are dressed very poorly. So you don't know if it's like, mm. like they have so much money, they don't care anymore. Nobody's or, flaunting it, but nobody's they might have it. it. Mm. But they might have it, like yes, Like a correct. software developer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great, okay, so. Uh, anything else we're doing? Okay. Just trying to we're gather gonna, information. Yeah, and apparently, I, uh, I don't know anything. Yes. <laughs> no yes, we're hitting up these two, uh, <laughs> these, these two NPCs for information that they lack. So I we're just going to hang out and to make money. They're, they, they ain't NPCs. They're PCs, my dude. Um, so, PCs, do you want to head out? Sure. sure. Okay, cool. Um, you go back up to the cage. You exchange, so you get slightly less. I will tell everybody what their amount is with in Keen. Later, you're gonna have to send me numbers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I'm not doing math now. Um, and the you get your weapons back. Whoever had weapons, you get mm -hmm. them all back. Um, and they direct you through a side door. Say, you know, you don't need to go out back through the karaoke bar. You go out through the side door. As we exit out the side door into a little alley, um, everybody but Cyrus, you are a little under an influence. Well, Hieronymus, you didn't roll at all, so these two are fine. You're a little under an influence, including you, Sprocket. Um, <laughs> your oil was not great, because uh, you rolled a six <laughs> on that constitution uh, check. And so Euro and so Cyrus and Ironus, you watch Euro and Sprocket get gently uh, kind of <laughs> pushed down the alley. By his cousins? N no, uh, <laughs> they are much uh, larger. 
They are uh, assistant droids. They're stockier. They uh, have no faces. And they're beeping and booping. And they're they're kind of corralling you. Oh, gentlemen, there's no need for such <laughs> to lay your hands on one's person. <laughs> this is not correct. Something feels off. Something. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what are we, anything we're doing? <laughs> I kind of want to go back in now and talk Sprocket into doing karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sprocket is being shuffled towards the end of an alley here. Um, so I think, I, I assume my mental processes are being somewhat compromised. Mm -hmm. I picked up the on slash off cantrip. Okay. Can I attempt to just turn off one of these droids? <laughs> um, yeah, let me, yes, the answer is yes. Um, what what do I have to do? Uh, it's just it's just any mechanical device within sixty feet that has a somewhat easy access like port for on slash off. You could just flip it on or off. Okay. Um, Useful for light switches and uh, giant robots trying to kill me. Yeah, <laughs> well, they're not trying to kill you. They're just trying to shuffle you. Mm -hmm. um, Shuffling leads to killing. <laughs> Anti footloose propaganda. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, what do you what do you have to do? I don't. Okay, great. <laughs> um, <laughs> still, you're still, you're still. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the one, the one that's shuffling you gets turned off, and now is blocking the alleyway. This but is unfortunate. There is another one still shuffling Euro. Towards, towards uh, at the end of the alley, you see big, giant shipping containers. This hmm. seems less than ideal. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, I guess I, uh, well, I, I, uh, I, I do not wish to go for a ride in, in anywhere or anything. I, I, uh, I, I need to settle up my, I have a tab to settle up. So, uh, wait, so these guys don't work for your bar? I, as we're getting carried like, away. Well, your 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 assistant droid, you were you were uh, like under duress, right? Like your processes are are bad, but you are no longer being shuffled by your assistant droid. But Euro's halfway down the alley, being pushed by an assistant droid. Have I seen these things before? Um, I mean, I think you've seen an assistant droid before. I don't think you've seen them shuffle people off to the end of the alley before. Okay. This type of droid is not 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 uncommon to me. How how however, not like the, 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 this, usually. Hmm. These ones seem more aggressive than the other kind. Uh, I'm gonna cast gaseous form on on myself. Okay. Um, Great. You will do that at a disadvantage. Great. Do you have to do anything? How do I cast a spell at a disadvantage? I, I don't think it's he, bad. He just he just does it. Okay, it well if it's just a does it, just a does it, then tell me how that goes. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, you, incapacitated. Oh uh, well, um, uh, well, in a sort of as he's getting closer to the shipping container, I think he just is, is like, uh, I suppose it's time to boogie, and he uh, sort of becomes a mist. Now it's very obvious where he is. He's a gaseous cloud uh, that has a super slow fi flying speed. Yeah. Uh, but the hope is he can no longer be pushed, uh, and so he, <laughs> and uh, so there's a great blue cloud uh, floating around with this sort of faux southern accent that's like. Uh, I don't believe I'll be going on any containers now today. The <laughs> assistant droid <laughs> opens its chest up and turns on a fan. I'm, I'm just going to turn towards it and just attempt to turn it off as well. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see if it does anything. Oh, yeah, you turn it off. The fan, like, stops mid. Mm. Uh, I think, I think <laughs> that is uh, a useful skill that I'm glad that I was programmed with. <laughs> uh, Euro falls to the ground in, in a is, uh, mecha horse form and, uh, and is just like, that was welcome. I thank you. I think I, I think I may indeed actually pay my tab. <laughs> good, good to know. Is this is un unusual behavior. So this, that was not normal then. N n no. I have never been whisked away drunkenly to a shipping container. No. Some, some, something is messing with my inner circus tree. Oh boy. I believe that for for some r reason we are being t targeted. Most likely, you you two as well. It may have something to do with our talk of the secret uh, Zalarian prisons. M most likely. 
Is Schmel also being... Uh, where is Schmel? Schmel is running. Schmel is running. Still in there hitting on a waitress. I recall Schmel being the drunkest. Yeah, you know what? Please don't tell me Schmel is gone. This is going to be so bad. He's just dead. Schmel's being shipped away. He's not dead. He's just, one of his arms is sticking out of a dumpster. We're like, oh my God. I came on this stream once and Schmel died. I don't think anyone would have that. fan favorite. a fan favorite. Sorry, guys. No, so, okay. So, there was a lot of commotion of you were watching assistance droids take a giant mecha centaur man. <laughs> That's right. Um, and, <laughs> it happens. And, uh -huh. uh, Naturally. As you're talking and we're talking about what's going on with the shipping containers, you hear the sound of a shipping container door close. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Am I still? Well, no! Am I still Come intoxicated? On. How long? Because. Uh, um, um. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> No, is this a temporary thing, or do I need to be cast into spells? Shit, I have to go save um, him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, it's like starting to wear off. Like, uh, you can feel the effects starting to go. You're still like a little, everything's a little hazy. Very good. But. I may have mentioned to you all that I like to dabble in nefarious activities in order to ensure my clientele. I do believe your extremely drunk compatriot may indeed have been whisked away. So, these uh, assistant droid things. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, yo, droid man, what what's going on here? It beeps at you. Are, are they like uh, off? Do you? Well, there's the there's are one that dead? shuffled Schmel all the way. Oh uh, right. Yeah. Bro, do you speak beep? I do, in fact, fat fact, speak binary. Yes. What's he saying? <laughs> gonna look down at him. What's the, wait, which one is this? This is the one all the way at the end of the alley. That, that took Schmel. Is it just, is it just saying things? Hey. Uh, <laughs> you're yelling hey. at the droid. Well, uh, no, like, is it saying something? Yeah, or? it's beeping. It's what, beeping. What's it saying? Uh, it's saying, objective complete. Objective complete. <sighs> they seem to have been sent specifically to capture that, 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 that individual. Hmm. We're going to have to go get him. Yep. We're gonna you guys want to come with us to save our pal? Absolutely, and without any hesitation. That is more convic conviction than you give to most of the things. I do like justice, if you remember. <laughs> Correct, although Can you do not normally dole out the justice yourself directly. No, not normally, but check this out. And he rears up on his hind hooves, and he's like, got his big hooves going, and he's just like, I'm feeling frisky tonight. Interesting. I believe that if I head back to the bar, I will be disassembled. This is not preferable. Fair enough. Well, also, having people abducted from your bar probably is bad for business. Most likely, yes. Yeah. I, I do have a question. I would like to settle something before we move on. I was overhearing some various conversation earlier, and um, did, did you all originally kidnap that, that person? and then now he's been kidnapped again, is that right? Are we kidnapping him from the kidnappers after you've kidnapped them? Kidnap is a strong word. Right, I just, um, uh, legally speaking, was the person removed from where they intended to be against their will? Not against their will, no. Ah, well then not a kidnap, excellent. All right, <laughs> very good. <laughs> yeah. No legal uh, yeah, problems no. here, just no. a simple rescue. It was rescue. not against their will. He definitely, at the time, wanted to come with us. Perfection! No legal <laughs> quandaries whatsoever. And he decided to stay with us. Wonderful! Then, uh, then we, we should be on our way. And do we, do we, I, I feel like now I want to talk about the ethical ramifications of spell casting. <laughs> You're gonna have to talk to Flex about that one. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Okay, so y'all make it to the end of the alley and the, the big uh, assistance droid is standing in your way. Oh, like he's just standing there? Mm-hmm. Big block with no face. Uh, do they have legs or do they have wheels? <laughs> <laughs> they got wheels uh, under like a covered bottom, like a big flat. Mm. So they're, they're, they're down there. Um, it's like if you took a street sweeper truck and went mm. compacted it. Huh. Weird. <laughs> Not bad, but just, you know, it takes up a lot of room. It does. Uh, they're, they, they are there to assist in greater things. This makes sense. They're not like they're not like domestic assistant droids. They're like street assistant droids. I'm going to look up they're at. I see it's very tall, <laughs> right? From these, the street. They're from yes. the streets. <laughs> they're street. How, how, how tall are they? Um, yeah, how tall are these creatures? You know, I 
ask any questions. Oh, I'm sorry, DM. <laughs> <laughs> okay, DM, we'll stop asking We'll questions. stop asking you about your world. <laughs> My world that I came up with yesterday. Um, seven feet tall. Yeah, they're big. They're mm. big. Yeah. Um, I'm going to look up at this one, and I'm going to, in binary, because I can speak robot, uh -huh. uh, I'm going to look at it, just be like, inquiry, what was objective? Good question. Um, let me see if I can find the actual thing I have written down. Um, it pulls out like a like a, a piece print, of, like a bunch of paper. It prints out a receipt out of its chest. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a fax machine. Yeah, like a fax machine because we have those. Um, uh, the droid responds and says, uh, "Acquire fighters." Fighters. Give more information on fighters. No. <laughs> I see. Off. <laughs> <laughs> now you got. Now you have to shimmy around this droid. If you're yeah, I can like push. Um, it's got wheels. You gotta use the a wheels are locked. Shove. When it's off, the wheels are locked, like mm. a bus. Can, can, can Euro, push now, it? I was gonna say Euro's a huge creature. Okay, Euro's, we, Euro's ten feet tall. Okay, both of you she try to. Large. Both of you try large, to. Excuse me. Okay. Both of you try to push at the same time. Okay. Um, I'm not doing anything. I can't. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, hey would now. you would you like? There to goes all of the luck of this. Would entire you like to know how strong I am? Sure. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is that what we're after here? That's I not very. A two, that's so a nine. it's a seven. That's a nine in the strong. This, what? Is, a, this is a big, so as, a big giant horse can't do nothing about this. As they're both <laughs> pushing the robot, I'm just going to go, cock my head at it and give it one of one of these. Yeah. And I'm just gonna cast levitate on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to do to make that work? You just do you it. Just do okay, it. Okay, great. It's not on, so it can't save, it's so it just goes up. It's not on. Literally <laughs> used all and of I'll my And I'll do uh, telekinetic shove to just kind of push it as it's levitated. I think Euro's like leaning against it as it goes up in the air and just sort of stumbles on his big horse legs, <laughs> and it's just like, that idea is much better than what I was doing. <laughs> you yeah. seem to need help with your issue. Oh, I'm gonna drop it, so it's just like, as it's like tumbling through the air, just <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Where's, uh, is there any, like, other shipping crates around yes, here? Yes, so or? there's actually a bunch in this little corner of the alley. There's there's some flat, there's some stacked on top of each other. Um, Are like any a big... of the others being guarded? <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope, there's just a bunch of shipping containers now. All right, I'm going to try to open the shipping container who's standing in front of. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, what are you no. doing? Just pulling on it? Just pulling on it and trying to oh. open it up. This will be fine. This will be 100% fine. Yep. Yep. Uh, nothing really happens. Doesn't open? Doesn't open. Ooh, okay. Um, Can you get it open? Are you just using your hands? I mean, is there like a locking mechanism of some sort or that we can determine? Not that you can see. Mm. Um, and you're just Sweet. picking. You're just picking one. No, picking the one that the robot was in front of. Yeah, the robot oh, was okay. in front. Of. The robot was in front of. Yeah. And so you, you hear. Is uh, Cyrus? Is that you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the plan? Well, we are trying to get this open to get you out. Oh, it's nice in here. I, I understand you. <coughs> Your you friend seems to not be able to handle his alcohol. You realize you were uh, kidnapped. Ta <laughs> this technically, is... you don't seem able to handle your oil, so. Apparently, the oil that I was given was filled with some sort of outside source. Mm -hmm. Call that the nasty oil. <laughs> <laughs> no, this uh, is good. This is fine. Hey, listen, this is just like before. Only you, this time, this is not a moving box. Do Do you see any sort of lock or anything in there that you could release? Yeah, there's a big old button that's shaped like a lock in here. All right. It only opens from the inside? <laughs> is that what you're telling me? No, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying I think you should absolutely press lock. that button. Go, go ahead and press that button. Okay. I have no misgivings about you <laughs> pressing a button. <laughs> so 
so you hear like <laughs> the sound of just a body slam <laughs> into a button and um on the outside base it seems as though like Schmel's not this strong, but it seems as though the button got pushed to the other side, basically popped out to the other side. So now you've got a button with a lock on it facing you. Sorry, I pressed too hard, I moved it. No, I mean, that helps. Okay. That seems improbable. Uh, it's, uh, there's a, a bunch of hinges in here. I see. Who are you? Irrelevant to the current conversation. It's okay. that bartender robot guy. Oh, the anti-pearl. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are there any sm- this is a, uh, any yeah. small holes, narrow openings, or even mere cracks in the container? Oh, that's a good question. I can't see very well in here. Mm. So it's... I'm actually asking the DM. <laughs> <laughs> How durable. The DM also can't see very well. I can't see very <laughs> Brittany is blind. I, you know, have you seen my glasses? Um, yeah. <laughs> there is just the like the hinges that pop the button out. It's like a like a library return slot, right? You pull, or like a what's like the, a you'd say like a narrow hole. Well, it, there's not any. It's not an entrance. It's <laughs> the button is what how. It so this out. this this shipping container is like vacuum packed and <laughs> sealed up real tight. No, I mean it smells not suffocating. So I just no. want to know if I can be gassed and I can go <laughs> in the shipping container. That's all I want to yes, know. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, then that is. A- if if you were, a, I would give you one of my inspiration tokens if you were coming back next week. I, I have know. I have an idea, <laughs> and I may still be a little drunk. And he uh, he just becomes his gaseous form again and finds his way through the cracks and crevices of the container. Um, yeah. what, what do I see? Uh, it's pretty dark in here. Do you have dark vision? I don't remember. No. Okay, great. It's pretty dark. It's, uh, but if you feel around the walls, it's- I can feel your friend. <laughs> uh, your friend is here and this is indeed a box and it is extremely dark. There's a talking cloud in here. I'm just going to like reach into one of my like inner workings and pull out a crowbar and just hand it to you. I'm just going to take the crowbar. But first he's going to try to press the lock button. Okay. <laughs> press the lock button. You press the lock button and a voice Not says, checking. please enter password. Please enter password. <laughs> Would I have any idea? Probably not. Would you like a password hint? Sure. <laughs> Do you say this? I, this is me. This is Ian. I know this is Ian. Now the box is talking to you. Affirmative. Hint. Say my name and I disappear. Oh, no. I'm not programmed for riddles. <laughs> yeah, couldn't we just guess your mom's maiden name or something? <laughs> Please enter password. <laughs> Say my name. Mm. Uh, from inside the box, you hear, I've made a terrible mistake. <laughs> please, 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 I cannot. Um, uh, he, is, uh, he has lost, he's broken his own concentration. Um, oh no! And is uh, out of spell slots. Oh I am, no. I, I, I believe I am now also trapped inside the box and would like oh to be God. out of it. I've heard the word riddle. <laughs> I'm okay at best at riddles. Please be better than me. <laughs> I just got to turn to Hieronymus. Um, any ideas? Uh, you know, Flux is the brains of the group. <laughs> Thank God I'm not Flux today, because I wouldn't be able to answer this shit. <laughs> it's how's it going out there? Yes, please, your friend is extremely intoxicated, and now I have only just now realized how big my body truly is inside a shipping container. It's okay. We can be friends. Schmel, um, are you any good at riddles? Am I good at riddles? (laughs) Yes. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) I'm good. I'm great at them. What's, listen. I went to school, and sometimes I wouldn't pay attention in class, and I would read riddle books. All right, um, so the riddle is, 
Say my name and I disappear. Say my name, say my name. Uh, if no one is around. <laughs> Uh, disappear <laughs> like uh, like poof. It say my name and I disappear is what we were given. What were given? Eurolatos Star Strider. I'm still here. Mm, <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not like a magic. This is like a. Is real... it? Is it silence? Yes, I feel like that's the answer. That sounds excellent Bibble. to me. Your <laughs> sly dog. Cyrus takes a deep breath, hits the button, mm -hmm. and then says, silence. And then you're all silent for a moment. And the door clunks to the ground. I feel like these shipping containers would be far more secure if they didn't have riddle passcodes attached. Yeah, yes, yeah. I think, and as, as he's clip-clopping out, he's <laughs> like, I think perhaps a numerical system, sort of a number pad like we utilize through many different things, may be better than riddle-based passwords. Was none of you know the riddle. That is So accurate. it was a good password. I am not I'm programmed for those. I'm going to change my password. You are programmed <laughs> for riddles? I am not programmed for those. Oh, well then, why is... Black and white and red all over. I am not programmed for riddles. I just stated this fact. But I want to see you try. <laughs> Don't be like that. This is Pearl would have answered me. Pearl. Would've I believe your friend is in love with Pearl. Is this accurate? Pearl's a droid, so no. Oh, that seems awfully racist. Because I don't, <laughs> I don't do divorce proceedings, but I'm happy to try if that's something you're interested in. I'm, we're not married. Well, yeah, so here's my, you have my Pearl card. Likes Just keep my else. number handy. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you have a fax machine? Absolutely. Okay. We could definitely. You have a fax machine in this day and age. Of course. And he opens up one of his big breast pockets, and, he, and there's just there's a fax machine. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it's just an entire where, fax where machine. Where did you get that and fax machine? There's a dial-up modem just deep <laughs> within his bones and body. Where did you get that fax machine? We might want to get one. If, if you all would like to purchase a fax machine, I'd be happy to sell it to you for whatever my tab is at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what is his tab at the bar? I believe he said it was 12,000 tracked. It has gone up by 200 <laughs> since you arrived. I don't think we need that I don't think we need the tracks <laughs> that badly. Well, it's well, here if you're I interested. have some trait. I got two. You could have it. You are a kind soul. I thank you. Thanks. I, this is Just bad. Just take it? Yeah, I do. And I hand, it, I hand it directly to Sprocket, and I say, will this cover my tab? No. <laughs> Okie dokie. I still just pocket it. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Okay, so... So, uh... So, the smell stumbles along. You all kind of exit out the alley. Um... I'm watching Schmel now. <laughs> you're watching Schmel. Schmel's like, no, I'm going back to the beach. I can uh, have a margarita on the beach. Beaches. Why do you hate beaches? Uh, it's a long story. I, uh, the smell sits down on the ground. <laughs> I want to hear it. I want to hear your story. It uh, may be in our best interest to continue to move so that we are not found by whoever attempted to capture us originally. That's a really yeah, great point is... there, Sprox. No, I let him tell the story. He can tell it on the way. Ooh, a walk and talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love a walk and talk. Uh, a little pet a conference and hey. Okay. <laughs> While I do not have emotions by the standard uh, capabilities of you creatures, I do have the self-preservation instinct to not want to get disassembled. Let us continue to move, please. Smell still on the ground. <laughs> Cyrus is gonna like lift him up, and if he doesn't stand on his own, he's just gonna like support him. <laughs> sure. No, I'm gonna cast Fire levitate Man, on him. Carry, just, like, oh, it smells levitating now. Oh, oh, gosh. Gosh. You can just drag him along now. He's like a balloon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh god. Smell balloon. Great. Smell balloon. Okay. So as we we reach the we reach the end of the alley, and we're past the karaoke bar now. You've got your keen gloves that are loaded with your keen uh, kind of uh, from your trite winnings at the casino. Um, Sprocket, are you going back to the karaoke bar? 
I think I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going, Sprocket? I'm following around these assholes. I don't have anywhere to go. Sprocket, <laughs> no. would you like a job? <laughs> I am currently unemployed. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> We have a ship if you'd like to come with us. We could always use a bartender. <laughs> we got a cook. We got a barista. We need a bartender. I'm going to remind you, you do have a lawyer, but I will not be coming with you, unfortunately. Where are you going, Mr. Man? Uh, well, my business is exclusively here. And, uh, certainly not. Hold on one moment. Sprocket, you no longer work for the bar? I was just recently fired. Excellent. I cause chaos exclusively. That is my entire oh. role here in this place. Uh, and I then, do not like that still. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore, does it? In fact, I, I will tell you another secret. I will not be settling my tab. Anytime. <laughs> I no longer work there. That's what I'm saying. Isn't it great to have the freedom to express yourself truly and authentically? No. <laughs> I believe we will be getting killed soon, so we should continue to move. I also believe you all will be getting killed, and oh. I will be taking my leave. Speaking of which... Very good. Once you do not settle your tab and you leave the premises, there is a small squadron of death robots that will be following you. And they can chase me amongst the stars, for I am Uralito Starstrider, <laughs> attorney to the stars. They will. <laughs> they will chase you. Good day. <laughs> I, think, I think he turns and he's, and he's just, you just hear the sound of galloping hooves as he, as he makes off into the night. Uh, and he says, don't forget you have my car. <laughs> yes. He is unique. I'm sure he'll be fine. Most likely he won't. You, you hear like a, you, oh, you sons of bitches already on me, are you? <laughs> Bunch of fighter jets. <laughs> <super young. laughs> Okay. Well, you know what? That's where we're going to end our game. We've got a bartender adding on to the, the scimitar. Um, we got we got Keen to spare. Just pass those right over to Brady. I'm She'll gonna. Be, I made them for hurt you. you. I made them. Both I That's a great character. <laughs> really badly. I don't have my Nerf gun. Um, so that's where I'm going to end this game. This is where we are going to end. Thank you again, Spencer, for joining us this game. Thanks, guys. This wait, wait, I have one for this. <laughs> oh. Yay. Oh, thank you. Uh, once again, can I uh, remind everybody where they can go in lieu of finding you? Yes, uh, you can't find me on social media on purpose. Uh, so, uh, you know, please, if you're looking for a local charity to donate to, um, the Anna Shelter is a no-kill shelter in Erie. It's Anna, A-N-N-A, -A, um, uh, here in town. And um, I, I think they just do great work. And uh, they would certainly appreciate any support anyone can provide. We here at Health Hits Experience support animals. <laughs> In all of their endeavors. I chose, I chose a horse man for a reason. Yeah. yeah. They I take th horses there. I think oh between God, all of us, they we do. have a oh zoo. Yeah, probably. I think there's a zoo amongst all of us. I only we, have two animals, but we could probably make it, I'm sure. <laughs> I've got two. Liz has got, you, you've added a couple four. of four. four. Does got, a toddler count? I got a cat and a parrot. A cat and a parrot, yeah. Toddler's pretty yeah. I've heard I mean, the cats and dogs. what views the zoo. <laughs> Anyways, let's end the show. Thank you for watching Health Hits Experience. If you enjoyed the show, you know what? Give us a follow on social media and shout us out, and then I can screenshot that and send that to Spencer so like, he can see all of the cool stuff that uh, everybody is loving and having a good time with. Thank you for watching. Today's adventure was written by... Brady Lee, uh, <gasps> wow. entirely, because Colorado needed a break So <laughs> from my shenanigans. So I uh, gave a little break, and then we ended up with uh, an excellent show today. Music and sound effects provided by Sirenscape. There was a lot of really cool sounds that I got to use today. I love that casino. Oh, what was that called again? Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Space mm -hmm. Casino. Was wow. that the space full title? Space Casino. Casino. Oh, casino. It's Casino, but Can't we renamed it Space Casino because it needed uh, to be in space, specifically. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you to the control room. Uh, Brandon Montgomery, Alex Jumel Gonzalez, Molly Cook was helped us set up today and then had to go do another thing. So thank you, Molly, for just being there and, and being great uh, for us. Uh, special thanks to Community Access Media for the use of their facilities and equipment without which we wouldn't have a show. And thanks to you for watching. We will see you next week on Health Hits Experience. Goodbye. Yay. Thanks, guys. Yay.